a scramble for bread among some of the youngest refugees from the Boko Haram insurgency. By some accounts, one and a half million Nigerians have fled their homes. Many are in camps like this one in Cameroon. Many are widows. Boko Haram people came to our village in Nigeria and gathered everybody, but they started slaughtering our husbands. They killed 25 men. People were gathered in a group like this. Nobody escaped. They shot some and slaughtered others with machetes and axes. The Nigerian government says its offensive is driving back Boko Haram. That's thanks to help from Chad, Cameroon and Niger. But Boko Haram also is seeking help. In recent days, its leader Abu Bakar Shekau has pledged allegiance to ISIL. And ISIL now looks to have responded. The voice here purportedly is spokesman Mohammed Al Adnani. He's downplaying ISIL setbacks in Iraq and playing up Shekau's pledge. We congratulate the Muslims and our jihadi brothers in West Africa, the voice says. So spread the news, O Muslims. This is a new door that has been opened for you to live in the caliphate. Nigeria's government has branded Boko Haram's pledge as a sign of desperation. Both Boko Haram and ISIL are under military pressure. But some analysts predict their partnership could internationalize the conflict. Already there is evidence Boko Haram is copying ISIL's brutal tactics. Some people here claim the militants in recent days have been massacring Nigeria's Arabic speakers in revenge for Chad's military intervention. Jane Kale, CCTV.